Have you ever felt completely stuck trying to get insights from your company's data? You know the data is there somewhere, but actually getting answers feels like trying to solve a puzzle blindfolded? What if I told you that's all about to change? What if you could simply have a conversation with your data, ask it questions in plain English and get immediate visual answers? And now we're getting 20 questions that we could ask about the data based on the understanding that Claude has about the data. Which industries have seen the largest increase in investment since 2010? And there we have it. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to liberate your data using MCP and Claude. No coding required. No complex integration systems, just you talking directly to your data, getting the insights you need when you need them. Let me show you how it works. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm incredibly excited to show you something that's going to completely change how you interact with your data. I've spent the last decade working with some of the world's largest industrial companies. And there's one frustration I've seen over and over again. People can't access their own data. They're forced to navigate complex systems or wait endlessly for overworked data teams. Meanwhile, IT is consumed with maintaining legacy systems like SAP and nobody seems to know how to integrate anything. Imagine this. You have all this valuable data in your company systems, but actually making sense of it requires SQL knowledge, waiting for the data team, or struggling with complex BI tools. What if I told you you could simply have a conversation with your data instead? First, let's talk about what makes this possible. The secret ingredient is something called MCP, or Model Context Protocol. I know that sounds technical, but don't worry. I'll give you the super short need-to-know version. Think of it like this. We have these incredibly powerful AI systems like Claude or ChatGPT. They're like super smart brains that can understand and generate human language. Now, they also have some tools and capabilities, but on their own, they're essentially disconnected from your actual data and systems. This thing called MCP is the bridge that connects these AI brains to your real world data and even tools. It's like giving Claude eyes to see your database and hands to work with it. It's like a magic USB-C cable that can connect our AI to any data and tool. And the best part, you don't need to be a developer to use it. Now, let's see how this works in practice. Today, I'll be connecting to Snowflake, which is a popular data warehouse many enterprises use. But the beauty of MCP is that it works with virtually any data source. The process is essentially the same regardless of where your data lives. I've been doing some work in the financial sector lately, and as I live in Norway, I love that we have access to a lot of public data. So for this one, I figured we could dive deep into the investment data from our government pension fund, which is in fact the world's most transparent investment fund and one of the world's largest funds. Yeah, we found some oil back in 1969. Let me walk you through how easy it is to connect Claude to a Snowflake database. Here, I have my Snowflake credentials ready. You'll need your account information, warehouse name, username, and password, but don't worry, I'll blur my actual credentials for this demo. To make use of MCP in Claude, we need to use the desktop version of Claude and not the web version. The process is still not super intuitive, but don't worry, I'll walk you through it and show you how easy it is to get started. First, let's open the Claude desktop app and click on settings. Then go to developer and click the edit config button. This will create a file on your computer where MCP configuration will be stored. You can find a huge collection of available MCP servers on the official Model Context Protocol website, both official servers and servers built by the ever-growing community. We'll cover more of these in future videos, but for now, let's get the Snowflake MCP. Now, lastly, let us run this npx command and follow the steps to enter our Snowflake credentials. Now let us restart Claude, and if successful, we should see the available MCP tools here. Now we're ready to start talking with our data. Let's start with something simple to understand what data we have available. So I'll do something like this. What tables are available in my Snowflake warehouse? So now you can see the first time it will prompt me to allow making a tool call 
And you see that it's trying to make use of the MCP Snowflake server. So I'm gonna select allow for this chat so we don't have to allow it every time. And now you can see that, that Claude is actually translating my question and figuring out what queries to run against the Snowflake database and provides me with a summary of what's available. So now we can add another question and essentially say, what can you tell me about the data in the GPFG holdings public? So now we can see that Claude is actually trying to investigate what's inside of this database, running a number of different queries. And we don't need to understand all the technical details here, but we can actually review the queries to make sure that it's doing the right job. So now we get an overview of the table, the data, key points about the content as well, not just the technical structure, but a complete overview of what's inside this data structure. So now we can make use of some of the powerful features in Claude and add another question. So let's try something like this. Can you visualize our data warehouse, the tables and any relations using a mermaid diagram? So now we can see Claude is querying our data, getting the relevant information it needs, and then making use of the artifact feature to create a mermaid diagram. So it doesn't always work on the first try, so we'll simply just say, try fixing the errors. So there we have it, a mermaid diagram showing the different tables, all the different properties in each table and any relations between the tables. Now we can start querying our data. So let's start with something simple. What were the 10 biggest holdings at the end of 2024? So now we can see the 10 biggest holdings at the end of 2024. And to verify that we're not seeing any hallucinations here, we can also check the query. And uh, for instance, even without knowing SQL, you can quickly see that we've got the date here. We're getting the 10 and we're sorting it by the market value in dollars. Pretty cool. Let's try another one. List the five holdings with the highest ownership percentage at the end of 2024. So very quickly, we can examine data and ask questions in a simple and straightforward manner. The really cool thing with Claude is that we can also use it to verify. We can use it to perform some critical thinking. And for instance, say, how confident are you in these numbers? And then you can see that it verifies that it's actually using our Snowflake MCP, that it's pulling the data from the warehouse, and um, it's also specifying the date filter and where it's pulling the data from. Then it's also giving sort of a safeguarding by saying there are certain things here that you need to consider and that the data and the output is only as good as the data, of course. So now we can start getting a bit more creative. And again, we can use Claude to help us. So let's try something like this. Give me 20 examples of interesting questions that I could ask about this data. And now we're getting 20 questions that we could ask about the data based on the understanding that Claude has about the data. So let's try one of these. Which industries have seen the largest increase in investment since 2010? So now we're pulling in some trend data. We know that the data goes uh, back in time and now we're gonna be able to look at how something has changed over time. So we're getting all the answers here. Now, I could ask a lot more questions, but I wanna show you a couple of more things and you can go experiment yourself. 
So let's make use of artifacts again in Claude to visualize the data. Can you visualize this using artifacts? So now Claude is obviously writing all the code for us. We don't need to worry about that. We just care about the end result. So now we have some visuals. Now we can, of course, build on this. We can, for instance, say, make it interactive and make it better. So now we have a quick summary. We've got a couple of interactive charts here to navigate in between. And of course we can just continue and uh, iterating from here. Now the great thing is we could add more MCPs to more data sources and we can have Claude actually combine different sources. We could apply the latest web search now and start asking questions about the latest information on individual investments and everything. So there's so many opportunities here. Now, lastly, we can, of course, uh, make it uh, more visually appealing and share a screenshot with Claude and say something like, could you update the style to reflect what you see in this screenshot? And there we have it. I hope you can see just how powerful this combination of MCP and Claude can be. We've gone from data locked in a database to interactive visualizations and insights in minutes all without writing a single line of code. And no need for advanced tools like Tableau, Power BI, or the likes. This approach democratizes data analysis in your organization. Now anyone can get the insights they need when they need them, without waiting for the data team or learning technical skills. Think about how this could transform your workflow. Business users can get immediate answers to their questions. Data teams can focus on higher value work instead of running basic reports or waiting for developers to implement another endpoint in the API. If you're struggling with data access, visualization, or simply understanding what's happening in your business, this approach could be exactly what you need. So go show this video to your head of IT. If you found this helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe for more content on making AI work for you. Let me know in the comments what questions you have or what other data sources you'd like to see connected. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video.